Good morning everybody, it's Elizabeth here and I am at the PMO Conference 2018. So I've just arrived at the Aldersgate offices, I've walked past um, Smithfield Market because I came into Farringdon Station this morning and uh, it's a, <laughs> you won't notice it from the photo I took but it's a hive of activity so early, it was about half seven when I walked through. So I'm really looking forward to going in and uh, meeting everybody and getting started for the day. The conference programme looks amazing and I'm sure we're going to have a really great day. I'm Katie Rowland, I'm Marketing Manager with Reich. We're here at the PMO conference. We're excited to meet some of our existing customers and meet some people that are looking for a project management solution. We've had a couple of the morning sessions now. So I listened to a really interesting talk about complexity, the emerging challenges that we face managing portfolios and uh, projects in a very complex world. That was really interesting and gave a lot of insight into the kind of ways that some of the tools that we use in PMOs and in project management are just not really fit for the 21st century and they don't deal with the complexities that we face in an emergent environment with, with so much dynamic change. So that was quite interesting. Then I went to a talk about from um, Bill Dow about the different types of PMO maturity module and we talked, uh, he talked briefly there about maturity reporting, making sure we're aligning to the business strategic um, objectives. So I think the key takeaway for me from that particular presentation was to make sure that PMO reporting aligns to business metrics as well as just the traditional project management metrics. So that was quite good. I've bumped into loads of people who I know online and haven't really met in real life or don't meet regularly. So I've spoken to Lindsay, I've spoken to Jeff Crane, um, I've spoken to Bill Dow after the presentation. So there's lots of, oh, and um, some, people, some people I've met through Twitter. Um, it's really interesting to see people in real life and uh, get to have real conversations with people. I'm here with John Hyde. It's lunchtime now and, and um, you've had quite a good morning, haven't you, seeing the different presentations? I have. Um, I was, this is my first PMO conference. Mine uh, too. I believe it's the fourth one. Um, but uh, I, my first impressions when I walked in were just wow. It's it, much bigger than I expected. It is. And it's, um, yeah, so many people, so many interesting vendors and so many great speakers. Um, so it has totally exceeded my expectations. I was already excited about coming, but it has really exceeded my expectation. So what did you take away from the presentations you saw this morning? Um, so the first uh, presentation was the keynote from Jack Duggle, mm -hmm. um, and the thing that I took away from that was the need, I think I would, I would call it a lean PMO. The message he was given was about um, making sure that all of your activity is adding value and meeting customer needs, um, which I think is a great message. It, you know, I'm always, I always try to be lean in all the stuff I do. I'm always checking with um, each day my, my task list. I'm kind of trying to make sure that everything is essential work, adding value. Um, so it really struck a chord with me. That was good. And then there was, um, I went to an interesting talk um, by a lady uh, on coaching. Um, oh and that was um, another kind of passion of mine and something that's really relevant because I'm now in, um, actually for the first time, um, the organisation has given me a little team. Oh, um, so I've gone from being a project and programme manager doing um, matrix management my whole career, whereas now for the first time, as of May, um, I've actually got direct reports mm. um, and developing other people has always been a passion and I've tried to do it you know, wherever I can, um, matrix management team, but now it. I can really play a really active part. Mm. Um, so um, that's, that's been great and it was, there was some good advice in there um, just about the actual techniques and the approach for coaching and trying to help people. Brilliant. Um, and then finally, um, I just went into a strategic portfolio management session um, and that really got me thinking because um, it asks the question, how are we allocating our resource against organisational um, objectives? And it just, I need to go back to the office and look at our portfolio again and I think have a few conversations about are we using our resource properly. Brilliant. So well, that's the whole point, isn't it? You come, learn new things, some of it might not be new, some of it might just be the same old message packaged in a different way, but 
if there's one gem that you can take away and go back and it's the actionable point that will make a difference, even if it's just one thing, then... And we've still got the whole afternoon to go. We have, yes. Yeah, yeah and my excitement levels just keep going up. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. OK, well, it was nice to chat. Thanks, yeah, John. thank you. Pleasure. Well, that is the end of the PMO Conference 2018 here in London. It's been a really great afternoon. I went to a presentation about change and transformation and then I saw Jeff Crane's keynote, which was really, really awe-inspiring. And he shared such great stories and examples that really inspired everybody to look inside themselves, change their behaviours, and uh, be the best self they could possibly be. And I think that sounds a bit trite, really, but actually if you had sat through the presentation, you would know exactly what I mean. It was a very inspiring way to end the conference. So I'm about to head back to Farrington, and it's been a fantastic day. I do just want to mention that I was only able to come to the conference because of um, 106 Consulting. So I wanted to thank them for being able to sponsor my participation in the event today. And um, hopefully I will write a few blog articles about the kind of things that I learned and share those insights with you as well. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.